The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Romania versus the Netherlands. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. And still an opportunity. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. And the starting 11 for Romania. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And leading the attack today is Memphis. They could pick out a teammate. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Well, no matter the cast of characters, as always, something exciting and dynamic about the Netherlands at a major international tournament, famously winners of the Euros back in 1988. But maybe question marks about this particular generation. Do they have enough, Stuart? Well, I don't think they've quite got enough. Yes, they've got some good players, some world-class players, I would say. But as a team, they haven't performed well enough over the course of several years now. Will they be good enough to win this? It was in Germany where you mentioned they did win it in 88. Can they do it again? I don't think so. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Oh, a very disappointing strike. Well, it's not good technique, is it? That's a real waste. Well, they're delighted to have Cody Gakpo in their ranks. He can be a difference maker. What might we see from him today? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease. He can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. The pie. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that break looked so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Ake. Xavi Simons. Good patient build-up as they try to fashion something. And offside it is. work from the Netherlands to win back possession Depay might work out and clears the danger with the game level let's see what they can do with this corner Delivering it. 
Could be a chance to break here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, he successfully got past him. Couldn't grab hold of it. And a time for cool heads. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Real chance. Applying the finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? But the danger averted for now. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. What to like about that pass? Well, it was such a fluent attack, but they couldn't apply that finishing touch. Well, not the finish he was looking for, but there's another example of their ability on the counter-attack. De Ligt. Virgil van Dijk. Schouten. Tajani Reinders. Can he take them on and beat them? Cross could be useful. Smuggled away. Genuine chance. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Over it comes. Well, punched away by the keeper. Gakpo. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Another corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Could still be dangerous. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through. So a throw-in coming up. Simons. Ake has it. Xavi Simons. piece of goalkeeping this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Stuart well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate surely the equaliser timely intervention and the flag has gone up well, he has to work a lot harder to stay on side there. He didn't read the situation at all.
Gakpo. And the pie on the ball. Simons. And it's with Dumfries. Well, they keep the ball moving. That's a good ball. Crossing opportunity. Well, passing moves like this will build confidence. And a goal! It's a finish of real class. No shortage of acrobatics on display here. He's judged it to perfection. Incredible header. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Couldn't put it away, and they're still trailing by a couple of goals. Well, you certainly can't fault their effort, but they just can't get back into this game, can they? De Ligt. Gakpo. Now, options are plenty. Can they convert? That is a tackle and a half. Marine Andre Ratziu Marius Marine Tremendous intuition to win it back That ball Oh great header Smart stop though well, they've decided to make a change. Delivering it. Dragushin. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Gakpo. Gakpo. Well, there's defensive solidity for you. Just 10 minutes remaining here. And passing it well. Schouten. Joey Fairman. Promising pass. Well, possession ceded by the Netherlands. Marine. Good weight on that pass. What can he do with it now? Now clearing it away, but at the expense of a corner. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Corner given. Over it comes. Managed to get it out of there. And 
three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Played over and swept out of there. Andre Burka. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And there's the final whistle. The Netherlands have won the game. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.